Hi everyone, my name is Siege and welcome back to the channel. In our last episode in this Let's Play series for Control, we met Marshall. For today's episode, we will be exploring the area that she asked us to explore. So let's go! Okay, so we're back inside the game and we'll be continuing on with the next objective. So again, just some um, checking on our pending quests and side quests so that we're all set before we go towards the game. So in um, this section, uh, what I'm trying to do here is actually get back to uh, the lab of, I believe that's Dr. Darling, to check those writings on the wall as they might be the solution to one of the side quests that unlocks another object of power or another skill, most probably for ourselves. However, um, as you can, as you will be seeing here, I was not successful in doing that, and uh, we're still um, stuck with the current skills that we have for Jesse. So we might be able to unlock it some other time. And as I was going there, I encountered another combat. So we'll get more. Um, usage for the pierce weapon um, i've been trying to get uh, a lot of use with it as it's very powerful and it snipes it's it almost is a one hit kill or i think most of the time it is so we have again another one of those healers so in this section it didn't matter that much that it was um, active all the time it did, it did yeah it did for this enemy uh, i wasn't able to kill him in one hit so he was uh being healed by that one so make sure to take it out especially for long long fights especially if you can't one hit kill the enemies it's really important that you do so as you can see here dragged the combat a bit too long for my list. Now, for the, his trooper, um, it becomes a bit easier to kill him, especially if we have uh, the pierce. Again, remove his shield first. But before that, first let's kill the healer. That's out. We throw weapons and shoot him. Yeah. So as you can see, it does a lot more damage than the shatter at close range. So. I think moving forward in this space, I'll be using the pierce to kill his troopers. It's faster. I can switch to the shaman for this one. Though. guy's dead and I believe we have another one up top yep let's go there we go this guy this guy was a bit smarter than the other run and gave me good kick so again grab items to kill the trooper before you pepper him with bullets Out. 
and we have two more floaters, I believe. Yep. Gonna be switching to the Pierce, I think. Yep. That's one. And this one is a bit annoying. I did not go back for the drop up top. Yeah, I did not. So here, I was a bit lost. Uh, I remember that it was in the corner of the room, but it was not that room. So we're gonna be running back there to see the drawings, but they do come um, a bit relevant. The type of drawings in a, in a puzzle that we'll have in this episode. Yeah, I'm getting a bit lost. There you go. So, the game so far, I've been liking it a lot. I'm um, always looking forward to uh, doing the next episode. Um, I think we already have three skills that we should uh, be getting, but I haven't had the time to look for them. But so far, the, how the game showed it has been very great. So, these are the drawings. I thought one of this could be the solution to one of the puzzles, but... I don't think they are. So I'll try to look for the answer to that puzzle some other time. Maybe it presents itself through the story. Yep, that box thing that's very different whenever you look at it. A happy and sad face. So after that, a uh, little blunder will be going back to the main quest of finding Darling's HRA lab. So no new uh, mod so far for the Pierce weapon. That's a calico cat, I believe. That's what you call it. It moves. It's weird. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, these are what we deem lucky items. I realize it just now. That clover, it disappears. I don't know if we're getting it or it, it disappears. So, this is the next section we're in. We will be continuing on with the main story. using the pierce in this section a lot. Um, 
I didn't notice it uh, during the playthrough, but the reason that the enemies are looking uh, away from you are, or is because they are fighting um, your teammates at the other end of the corridor or the area. That's why they're looking back. Um, in this room, I thought it did not have a box, but so far it always does. It's just placed differently, I guess. Checking in rooms, making sure don't move, uh, leave any loot behind. Nothing there. I see rangers over there. We have to help them. Yep. We have a quick fight here and we're inside the ritual division. weapon would be very good once we have um, enough to charge mods on it. Currently it does take quite a while after you consume the bullets. So something to consider moving forward. So those are your teammates. They're color green. I haven't tried shooting them. I don't know if we have friend friendly fire in this game. Let's clear out the enemies and also uh, on your playthrough please prepare for a quick boss fight in a bit. Uh, uh, main links, it's main links I guess we call them. I forgot what they're actually called. Yeah, so boss fight after this, it's a false control point access. There you go. It's para kinesiology chief Lewis. Lewis. I already pronounced that. So we can hear in one uh, run through. So the way this boss works is that you actually have to clear his shield before he takes damage. And he re regenerated uh, quite fast. So make sure that your gun is fully loaded or it has energy before you break his shield so that you can actually deal damage to him. Because if you don't, uh, you will be missing the bullets. But um, the pierce weapon here, for some reason, does pierce through, pun intended, uh, on his HP. I'm able to kill him with one go and without any deaths for this one. So, I guess we're improving a bit on this game. And, yeah, we got him. He's dead. He's down. Actually, get to control the access point. Or cleanse, sorry, I cleanse the control point. So here, Synchronicity Lab, um, if 
if I remember correctly, there is something that we still can't get in this room, so we might have to double back here. More of those drawings around. Nope, that door is not something you can use. So we'll be checking around the whole area to make sure we don't miss anything. Nothing here. Let's try the other side. Yeah, so that's where you have to go once you have access. I believe it's a level 5 access clearance, which we will be getting uh, soon. Oh, it's level 6. Sorry about that. Level 6 clearance for this one. So, of course, we're gonna get back to that some other time once you do get level 6 clearance. In this episode, we're going to a maximum of clearance 5. So that's where you have to go, but I'll be checking Ritual Office in a bit. Huh, I think I get maybe one item. We we'll have one file over here. Carla, file received. So if you remember a while uh, a while back in I think it was episode two, uh, we had one area Black Rock that we were not able to go to. Uh, that's uh, where we're going to be at in this episode. So we'll be able to access the area already. Um, no item. Where is there? Okay, let's go back. Nice view of where we were a while ago. Or I'm sure. Is that? No. Could it be we went down or went up a floor? By the way, uh, one thing I did notice in this game, well, not specifically in this section, is that time or the clocks are not working. So. It may be the case that the time has stopped, or maybe just all the clocks in this room, this game, or this building not working. So, another item box here, and uh, this here looks like where you display uh, objects of power. So, it, this was similar to what we had a while ago. 
there is something written below but I think it's a repeating pattern and it may be not be the answer to the other puzzle that we also have. This duck thing though is it's a bit funny. Altered this item number fifty two AE analysis session two. I will begin by introducing various stimuli to the item. First a low voltage electric shock. No response. Next, I will introduce heat via a standard Bunsen burner. No response. Next, a series of solutions will be applied, each with a different value on the pH scale from 0 to 14. No response to any value. Next, I will attempt to communicate. Can you understand me? Can you understand my words? Quack, if you can understand my words. No response. This concludes session two. We'll need time to prepare further tests. Would have been funny if it actually quacked, I guess. This way to the lab? Okay. You must like these HRAs. Sounds like Darling built them. And most of the things around here. I'm really wondering what that thing is. If Marshall can't is, help us with Dylan, is, he's our next best bet. Assuming he's not dead or taken over by the hiss. <laughs> One item here behind the pipes. Make sure to check. So here, uh, we get to introduce another type of puzzle and you have to copy what's in the paper on the left side. Do get it eventually though. No, the line below. There you go. Could have been done a bit easier, I guess. So we're here at the HRA lab. You let me here. Any idea how to make it work? So, fastest way to get clear to this area is to interact with the object in the middle and then uh, it will ask you to gather some cards for th that you'll be placing in five different terminals. Hello again, Director. It appears we have a new problem. We need to get the HRA... I've replaced a couple of spark plugs, but this looks a bit more complicated. Darling must have had a system. Randomness isn't in his nature. The punch cards, the symbols, the terminals. How do they connect? I'll see what I can do. 
yeah, so it's a simple puzzle. You have to match uh, the sequence of the cards in the correct order and put them in five terminals. So that's one, two, that's three cards, two more. There's the other one, four. The last one is in the top area. Second so, floor. We need to find all the punch cards. So, to determine where to put each card, just look at the whiteboards and they'll tell you where they go. So, this one tells you that the second, third, and fifth are don't go there, but tells you where the first and the fourth does. So, where the fourth card, it's the one there, second one. The first one is the one with like three triangles in the middle so the first one is near the panel now that one tells you it's reversed for the second and third and this tells you where the fifth one goes Each punch card should correspond to a terminal. Yeah, yeah, Marshall. Don't worry, you got this. Was she limping all this time? Like, from the first time we met her? Not sure. We got two more left. Number two and number three. So, the box thing in the middle or the... Hexagon should go on the second slot, and this one should receive the one on the end. And actually, see it from These here. These whiteboard the white drawings board. may be important. And then the last one is on the second panel. Looking for it. There you go. And then we can activate it again. Prism shattered. Darling's prototypes have a lot of issues. We need a new plan. This the new plan? Nope. We need more Black Rock prisms to make this machine work. Darling has another lab down in the Black Rock processing site and maintenance. That must be where he keeps the prisms. I've been to maintenance already. I can find my way. But how long will that take? Nothing here is simple. I need to ask her now, before I go. I need something from you first. What do you know about Dylan Faden? I knew this was coming. Lives are at stake here, and we need this machine working to save those lives. Once that is done, Director Faden, then we can talk. She's right. As much as I don't want to admit it, I'm the only one who can help. Fine. I'll get the prisms first. Dylan will have to wait just a little longer. But don't call me director. Jesse is fine. I'll call you Faden. Here, you'll need this keycard. Thanks. 
Emily Pope has set up a base in Executive. Once I have the prism, I'll meet you there. Right. I'll move out immediately. And keep an eye out for Darling. Finding him might be the key to stopping the hiss. It's just one large scale HRA. It's there now. We are about to be exposed to a different kind of resonance. Hostile, viral, invasive resonance. I think that's, that's what the Hedron resonance amplifiers are for. Taking the protection Hedron can provide us and keeping us from being wiped out. This will lead back to Central Research. And she will do so before we proceed to maintenance. And yeah, that's one cool thing. There's a quick back door here to go back to Central. Use that door and voila! Central. That's cool. So we'll go to executive first and we'll upgrade our skills. Oh, launch deals increased damage to enemy armor. No hiss followed you in, right? So one thing you will notice as well in this area is it's getting more people and stuff like boxes, people, equipment. I guess it becomes a central hub for us. So they've they've added a bit more people here. So I think it's gonna be growing more and more as we progress through the game. So here in the board countermeasures as well, um, I think a, a trick you could do is out. get the quest and abandon it. So you have more options in what items you're gonna get for com from completed quests. Uh, a way to farm items, I guess. So I'm getting two upgrades for launch as I'm gonna be using them a bit more often. And due to that, we get one more personal mod slot that we can use for ourselves. Who does she think she is? Authorized. Still missing uh, three more ritual impulses to upgrade the grip, which we will do so. For the mods, um, I will be upgrading the level so that we can get better items here, well, a bit more free in terms of our money. I'll be going to level three. I believe so we get to use the materials we've been picking up since we started playing there you go level 3 can't get to level 4 as it requires a specific item which you'll probably get normally through the story progression it's a headshot damage 64% Health boost 29%. Some good rares. So I think I consumed most of my money here. Yep, I did. Seeing that kind of data breach. She must think he's hiding something. By the way, if you did not notice, there's a whole other three different skill trees towards the side. Yep, there you go. It's uh, very faded into the background, so I did not notice until just this one episode. 
so it would be cool to have those as well soon you can also reset your abilities uh, probably we're going to be doing that maybe one time during this playthrough so that we can get uh, the other skills that may be cooler so one more extra f extra slot for a skill or a personal mod Let's proceed. Let's go to Black Rock Processing. That's inside the maintenance sector towards the left side. Field training is still locked. Still can get inside. Ooh, mini has increased effectiveness against enemy armor. That's something. Marshall knows something about Dylan. Is he here? Is he all right? HRAs first. They'll help save everyone, including Dylan. Once I find him. Can you keep him safe? Like you do with me? So enemies here, again, be careful. Only died once though in this episode. Uh, that guy got into my blind up and me lead me to death. Oh. Tool tips are very useful. Make sure to read them. here first that you can activate the drawbridge for to get to black rock processing here put that there and remove the energy source on the side so that you can pass through uh, no need to bring these boxes down here you don't need them don't know why I did show them they could be useful. Item box here. So 
I suggest uh, throwing or bringing the, 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 that one box upstairs as you'll be needing it to activate the door you need to to make sure you bring one so you don't have to double back first one you can get by removing it from the wall and as I said you need an extra one same time bring an extra one already um, I tried to get one here look if there was anything I could remove from here but can't see any so same time just bring one for yourself in my case I got this one So here, go directly to the switch. It's you have to use it three times, and we'll be brought back to the motel where you have to do a quick puzzle. Yep, not there. It's the quick way back. Just go back. There you go. So you pull it three times, always. One, two, and three. So you have to get the key for the that room. So here you have to match room one, or I, I guess room, room two in room one. So that room 3 opens up. Yep, so that's room 1. You have to match room 1 with room 2. Yep, so you have to switch the radio to the right side, fix the picture, and move the plant. On to the left side. Don't move the chair. The chair is good. So tap the bell again. It will, it will open up both rooms. Make sure they're the same. So, chair should be out. I think I already got it. Yep, I already did. Door, get the key. And now we can go back to the first door. The, the diamond, the black pyramid, inverted black pyramid room. Then you pull the lever, the switch, three times. One more, there you go, and that completes the breach for block rock processing. You can use this side path to drop down to the entrance so you can go out faster. back it doesn't not that way great so we'll now be able to proceed to block rock processing there you can actually see the platform where we were at if you look towards the left which, yeah, there you go. There are a few more bridges though. Maybe for a different location. Field training, maybe. Now, here. 
Uh, it's a locked room. Uh, I was not able to go back there, but okay. we can, we'll get we need to find a way to Blackrock processing. That's where Marshall said we'd find a prism. No items in this CR comfort room. One read up there. Atlas theory. Ghost can get back to that. But we'll probably dedicate an episode um, wherein we'll be checking all or we'll doing a run back on all the other areas. Maybe once we get enough clearance so we are able to open most locked doors and areas later on. up this door to central maintenance. Now, but you can jump back here for one item. Yep. Two months for that box. Well, tricks no bosses after this yeah he's up there though he did 
did show himself. Found it weird. These glass panels are annoying though. Can't seem to identify if they're broken or not. I'm sure if we can pass through that section, uh, maybe try removing the obstacles. So, one item here and an audio log again. During an AWE investigation, our agents discovered a light switch cord in a butte bungalow closet. They pulled the cord and were instantly transported to the Ocean View Motel and Casino. Dream like haze. <laughs> Inside, they found a door marked with an inverted black pyramid. And just like that, it led back to the oldest house, some 2,000 miles from Montana. N now we're finding the cord in increasing numbers throughout the Bureau. Somehow the two places, they, they became in tune to each other. The, the actual physical location of the ocean view is, is, is a mystery. Stepping beyond its walls has so far proven impossible. A place of power, like the oldest house. So as you can see, the clock is in. If you noticed, this is, it was not working. I'm glad to see you're still you. So this side quests are like timed events that can Ranger squad Charlie 7 uh, returns to the next I keeping them for a while so that we don't get distracted and uh, we try to keep to the story for the now. Of your expedition? Kevin Horowitz, Rupert Well. Our mission was to map quarry grid coordinates G29. Secondary objective, as always, was to find a route from the threshold entrance and maintenance to the formation. Secondary objective was not a success. What a surprise. And did you encounter any previously unrecorded event or entity while inside the threshold? No. Nothing. Do you think we should tell him about the mermaid? Excuse me? Yeah, the mermaid. Horowitz here found this mermaid in a quarry just sitting on some black rock. She was singing this beautiful song and he was overcome with desire. Oh, she was so alluring. I'd say she was more enchanting than alluring. Fine, I'm not doing so hot. Um, You're fine. We'll did you tell your CO about this? No. Push him, Doc. Because it didn't happen. Nothing happened. As usual, the quarry is full of rocks. That's it. Can we go now? <laughs> Fuck you guys. Get out of here. Want one of those guns that those guys are having? It's very big. You like big guns. Talking to Arish again. Hey, thanks for bringing down that. Whatever the fuck that was. But we are barely holding on here, boss. How's the situation outside maintenance? What do I tell him? The truth is harsh, but these people seem familiar with death. The hiss are everywhere. 
Most of the Bureau is lost. We need Black Rock Prison to make more HRAs for any survivors in the safe rooms. I'm here to check Darling's Black Rock lab. So to recap, uh, death, disaster, and imminent destruction. Another day at the FBC. Well, Darling's lab is just past Black Rock processing. I got good news and I got bad news on that front. Good news is, it's right down the hall. Bad news is, a hiss monster has decided to move in, so that's great. Monster. That's what the Rangers said. The ones that survived, anyway. But we are just treading water here, and the hiss keep coming. Salvador would know what to do, but apparently he took a security team into the containment sector just before the lockdown happened, and well, no one's seen him since. But hey, at least we got you, our fearless leader. They shouldn't rely on me. They don't know me. They don't know how I failed people. You've done a good job here, Arish, but you should take your people and get to the base and executive. You can regroup there. I'll go deal with this monster. I'm getting kind of used to them. Aye, aye, Faden. And be sure to put a bullet in that thing for me. Well, I'm also getting used to them. So, another quick boss fight here. Make sure you you have the items that you need. Um, in my case, I think I used the shatter for this fight and I think the pierce as well. Also, um, the, the ragdoll does work. I think I step on all of them. No disrespect to the dead though, but they, they move a bit funny. Um, stairs there. Maybe there's an Arish item wasn't up top. Kidding about that monster. Could check that some other time. Stop stepping on them. Item here. I oh, know. Just a read up. Another object of power. You showed me the HRA when I first got here, and the machine that makes them. Can you help me find a prism? So, um, in this room, I thought there was gonna be a, a lot of small enemies, but it apparently is a boss fight. Um, it's a bit easy to do. Um, let's just wait for it to get spawned, and you can do that by accessing that ominous box. Shit! They're shattered! Not a single... What the fuck? So that's the enemy. So the way you fight this boss, or mini boss, is that you grab projectiles and throw it at it. So you can see a silhouette coming towards you, throw it towards the enemy, and shoot him to death. So yeah, you have to do it right after you throw the item. Gives you a window opportunity to fight it. So apparently I'm missing. There you go. Goes down quick. Not sure if you have to use the block items though. Let's hurry up and find Darling's lab. And that's down.
frequencies match, other dimensions leak in. We call these... So, the enemies you fought a while ago are apparently called His Distorted Agents. So again, the way you kill them, drop their shield, and hit them with the gun. Well, that's how you do most enemies though. So, this is also where you get uh, clearance level 5. It's just on that table. You heard that too, right? Black rock comes from a threshold. Ari. So the prisms must be there too. Think of it as paranatural lead. Our research involves many dangerous things we absolutely need to keep in check. That's what the Black Rock line fire breaks are about. The panoptican container cells. Uh, sorry to interrupt, sir, but I need the code for the quarry elevator. Oh, uh, Emily, the codes, Blackrock 665, neighbor of the beast, get it? We can do that again. If you... Yeah, click that button too late. Darling's key. This should get us into the quarry. Also, we're not familiar with the 665 uh, Neighbor of the Beast uh, joke that went over my head. If anyone can explain in the comment section, that would be great. Love to know about it. Everything here is crazy. But it feels right, like how the world should be. I am in an infinite building leading to different dimensions, and I never want to leave. Even with all the horror, I'm happy. It feels sane. Or just the right kind of insane. a path there I think thought it was a dead end but I think there was a path at the end of that hallway I'd have to go back though so this elevator I guess connects uh, the black rock quarry which is on the third floor with the NSC control room where we were on the previous episodes control point here make sure to claim it again so the way I handled this section was I did try to go with a snipe battle but I ended up uh, charging them and killing them up close yeah got hit twice they weren't really showing their head so I rushed them instead yeah almost 
almost, I think I almost died here. Let's see if I did. read that file which I also did the generators are actually not your typical generators and uh, I think a human or a thing is contained inside which they get the energy from which is a bit messed up if you ask me So here it's the usual game trope where it, instead of having the elevator work which will bring you downstairs you have to drop downstairs and afterwards it will fix itself and you can use the elevator back up. Just checking for any items so far there are none. Elevator's broken. Gotta get down the old-fashioned yep. way. So drop down. Care, be careful as well. There are some enemies on certain floors that you might miss and get you killed. So there's one there. Got hit so again. Be careful. <laughs> Although I think there was only one enemy there, or here, I would suppose. Yep, I don't think I meet any enemies aside from those that are downstairs. Like, towards the very bottom. Not seeing any. No, there's another one there. Be sure to kill it. There you go. A uh, cool effect though on the platforms or on those thin vents when you actually drop down on them they the game renders the dents from which you fell in there you go critical effect just thought I'd mentioned uh, and there you go again cool touch Enemy battle down here, be careful, don't run blind. You have to kill some guys.
So here's the reason why the elevator is not working. It's because of the access point. So cleanse it so that the elevator is working now. There you go. Now the elevator is working. You can use it later after we clear this section. So black rock quarry. A lot of enemies here. Be careful. Taking them out one by one. That guy really wanted to kick me. That side though, it's a weird uh, hit detection going on there. Yeah. Have them pass through by it or don't shoot them from there. So, if you remember uh, the enemy that we locked inside the containment zone, yeah, you have um, around three of those in this area. what the voices are saying actually Yeah, that guy's there. Hate that guy. That thing. Um, there might be some items down there that I wasn't able to explore this run of this area. Um, might have to go back here though. Don't wanna miss any good items that might be hidden there. So. The way forward is to the place where we came from. We will be doing a bit of platforming this section. Yeah, there you go. Wait for the platform to go up. Nope. Don't do what I did. Wait for it to go up. No 
pass there, you have to walk back. So just dash around. Be slow. Won't catch up. that wasn't that hard wait for it there you go Floating people item here. Threshold remnant. So this section I also don't know how to access yet. I was not able to see any platforms I could use. Probably go back there some other time. I'll do some. Well, again, I'll, I dedicate one episode for you guys for us to check um, other areas that we might have missed. Oh, not what I expected. So this is the quarry. Um, this is where we'll be getting the prisms. We're getting them directly from the rocks. Like we'll be the one harvesting them. <laughs> As uh, the monster that we killed a while ago apparently destroyed uh, the created ones inside the item box. So, um, here what you need to do is grab three power boxes. Make sure you have them ready. Also, take note of that upper section there. That's where you'll be exiting this room from um, after you finish objective so you need three different generators make sure to gather them so that you can uh, place them all at the same time so there you go there's three I was trying to grab it from afar but I couldn't there you go there's another one Attach it from there, and there's another one there. I'm not sure if that's the one I'm gonna get. So, if you stay up here on this platform, they'd have a hard time hitting you. There's the last one I need. around and shoot them one by one. Make sure to take out their healer. There are a lot of items or enemies here.
some beetlings down below. So I can hear them. Yep, you're safe here. That's cleared. So that was relatively a safe spot for you to kill all of them. Just make sure that you don't overextend and commit too hard. Or maybe like a rambo down below. Um, you might get um, mobbed, especially by the main links. So this is the third energy point. And you activate that on this panel. Um, make sure that you have also looted most of the things here. As after you activate this, um, uh, the hiss fakes, I think uh, if I remember correctly what they're called, two of them spawn and it's going to make it hard for you to loot all of the items. So make sure to loot everything first before you activate this panel. So I think they spawn right after, sorry, so they spawn after you pick up the prism, if I can remember correctly. And there it is, right where you led me. The HRAs, the prisms, they mean something to you. I need to get this prism to Marshall before it's too late. HRAs, then Dylan. Yeah, so they're here. I don't like them. So again, if you remember the stairway I showed you a while ago, that's where you have to go. And also don't get too confused about the area. It's a straight through towards the back of the panel. Uh, I did some platforming that I don't think I needed to. So yeah, there. Yeah, you can run through there. There is a platform that you can climb through. Um, I tried going here for some reason, uh, but failed to do so. Yeah, I'm just timing it around with the things. Yeah, I'm not seeing it there. It's just there. No, oh, missed it by a lot. Try looking around and come on, look behind you. No, no, don't make the jump. There you go. That, yeah, there. That's where you have to go. Just run back. Don't time it. Make sure that these guys are not close so that you don't get hit. Towards the right on the stairs, that's where you have to go. No, not there. The other side. Yeah, I just dodge around this guy. Here. There you go. Towards the stairs. Yes. 
understand your aunt. Good. Want to beat up five here? Don't miss it. It's a no smoking reminder. And you have another one here. I hate, I, I really hate these things. Uh, so here I avoided combat. That one guy, but some additional people spawn, or enemy spawn. I just dodge around here, dash there, picked up some health items. Yeah, I'm gonna skip the battle here. Um, I think I could have used the control point to get out and um, do, 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 do this faster, but I kinda took the long way around. So, I would suggest maybe you could clear the enemies and just use the access point there. So, this elevator really saves a lot of time. Nice if it was working the first time around. So go back. Uh huh. Uh, here, there's another heat up behind this large vents. Make sure to grab it. Miss it the first day around. Fan supplement. nice once we learn what are on those censored black lines um, there's a big combat here yeah like um, I think I avoided dying here um, equip the spin but again as you see there they're gaining their health really fast, so make sure to kill the healer first before trying to deal with all the other monsters. So use your pierce, snipe it from afar. Not sure if I got it though, did I? Don't think I did. Yeah, I don't think. So apparently it can heal itself though. Well, that would be hard if it could. So we can kill them now. get a lot of force credits here. Not too bad. Now, take it back. Maybe the control point didn't have work. Because I think this set of enemies here were um, intentionally placed by the developers. So, tell me in the comment section if uh, the access point worked for you. So, this one that I'll be using to get back to the executive area. So we're also starting to get level 4 mods or tier 4 mods, though we haven't had one yet in our inventory, but we'll try to get them soon.
So here I'm just uh, cycling around the quests, uh, making sure we got good ones, high tier rewards. And I guess you can farm them this way. Uh, one more for the upgraded grip for the handgun. So, Entropic Echo for level 4 months. There you go. Then, I fast travel to Executive. There you go. So here you have to talk to Marshall. I got a bit lost, but she's just right there towards the right side. Um, I read up here that I think I missed from the first episode. Make sure to grab it. That's a level 3 door, and we're already able to open it. Uh, one item and a random radio. How's the weather in your place, guys? Uh, while I'm recording this, uh, there's a lot of downpour in our area. So stay safe, especially for those here. Audio log here this about is Salvador, the Bureau Security. jukebox I'm making a formal security that we've seen already. In April, case number 21HQ593. Improper use of the jukebox altered item led to two fatalities. We believe a pair of agents used the jukebox to travel to the quarry threshold and engage in inappropriate workplace behavior. An expedition team found them decomposing at the formation's base a week later. At least we found out the jukebox doesn't bring corpses back when the song ends. I'm having the jukebox placed in a secure location in the executive sector. It should never have been accessible to low clearance staff in the first place. The new location security and proximity to a high traffic area will prevent misuse while still allowing for expedition teams to access it when required. See me for any further details. I'll be checking it, but it's, there's still nothing we can do about it for now. It's still locked and red. So I guess it's gonna be a story unlocked for the jukebox. So as you can see, there are a lot more things in the central executive area compared to before. And I guess it's turning out to be a central hub for the game itself. Let's talk to her. You got seen? Had to take a detour into the quarry, but I found plenty. Here. 
We will start HRA production immediately. I promised I'd tell you about Dylan once you helped us. This is it? She knows. Seventeen years I've waited. Your brother is here. He was once known as Prime Candidate Six, codenamed P6. We brought him here after the ordinary event. He was groomed to be the future director. He had talents far beyond any other candidate in the program. Of course he did. We found you together. We share a bond. Are you with him now? So you kidnapped him? We took him in. Your parents vanished along with every other adult in Ordinary. Eventually, his power changed him. There were casualties. He wasn't fit to be the director. Did you know about this? Is this why you didn't bring me here sooner? Were you keeping me away? Where is Dylan? He's kept in the containment sector, in the Panopticon. My brother. I thought we were the same. What if we are? I'm going. Now. I expected as much. I need to go check on something. Something I cannot let the Hiss find. It shouldn't take long, but you must watch the Bureau while I'm gone. And remember, Dylan is dangerous. Do not let him out, Director Faden. How do I make her stop calling me that? I'm not here for them. Nothing simple here. These people took my brother, but they've accepted me without question. Are they my enemies or my friends? I need to see Dylan. I need to know. I wish you could tell me what you know, explain things. Just stay with me, okay? I could use a friend right now. So, I guess we'll end our episode here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. On the next episode, we might learn about Dylan, um, our brother. So, we'll pick up from there on our next episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a good day. Thank you, guys.